What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Still Remains. Yes, indeed, how about that? Still Remains making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Ian Franks, and Ian wanted to see me react to this song by Still Remains called The Worst Is Yet To Come. I got a bad feeling about this. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a second. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Roadrunner Records, okay? And the video has 1.4 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Still remains the worst is yet to come official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, yes, that word official coming off. Well, it's not their official page. It's Roadrunner's official page, the record label's official YouTube page. Um, yeah, look, you, you know what I'm going to say, so I'm not going to say it. All I'm going to say is we're going to have to just hope for the best and wait and see what happens. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. people into this band it's a six person band okay okay that makes sense i was like how are they getting that full sound six people all right that makes sense probably my favorite setup for a band two guitars bass keyboards drums lead vocalist um that's seriously it's probably my fig my favorite configuration for a band solo work has the exact same configuration and they're one of my absolute favorite bands 
So yeah, I I love the full sound that we're getting from them. Um, a lot of play on feels, especially between uh, the straight time, the half time, and the double time, all in different spots, and it all feels good. It does. Uh, it's interesting having the straight time on the chorus. Usually, when you hear a band like this, the chorus is what will have the double time. Usually, not not always. But quite often, you'll hear the chorus be the one that's got the fastest feel. Uh, so it's interesting to hear the double time being utilized in the intro and like the first half of the verse. The second half of the verse, we went to the half time. So we went double time to half time. And now on the chorus, we got the straight time. Feels good. It, it does feel good. It's a, it's a little different than what we're used to, but I like it. Um... I'm getting serious to Trey U vibes. Serious to Trey U vibes. Lead vocalist got a great grit and growl. Really nice grit and growl. But when they switch into the chorus and they start doing the harmonies, man, their harmonies are good. I think the harmonies are probably my favorite part of the song so far, along with just the full instrumental sound that we're getting from a six member band. Anyway, let's let, let let's keep going here. Let's see how this goes. nice a little two beat layout very effective very very effective um i'm watching the music video now look i understand this is a music video and i understand that there there's a lot of things that are going into <laughs> making a music video that you will never see in a live setting I, I i know that okay i understand that but one of the things that I do look for in a band is their animation. I love seeing a band that's animated when they play live. Look, I can't tell you how many times I've seen a band in a music video and they're super animated, like over the top animated. You go see them live and they're just a bunch of shoegazers. They just stand there, feet rooted into the stage like trees and they're just sitting there looking at their shoes the whole time. But yet they had this music video where they're moving and they're animated and there's constant energy. And I, I love seeing that. And you can't imagine the disappointment I feel when I go and see the band live. It's like, is this the same band? It, it can't be, you know? I'm watching the music video. Now, am I going to take the music video into account with my scoring? Absolutely not. No, I'm not. The music video has absolutely zero bearing on what I'm going to give the score for the song. Having said that, though, I can't help but notice how animated and energetic these guys are in the music video. So my question is this. To any fans of Still Remains, the energy that we're seeing in this video do they have that same energy when they play live? That's my question. Especially, 
I, I got to really point this guy out. Their keyboard player. I can't tell you how many times I hear keyboard players say, I can't be animated. I have to stand here. I, I, I'm a slave to my instrument. To some extent, they're true. It's not like they can go running around the stage. But you know what? There's a lot you can do in that spot. In this case, the keyboard player turns his body sideways, plays with one hand, and starts seriously rocking out just as hard, if not harder, head banging than the guitar players and the bass player. Guitar players and bass players around the world that are watching this video, if you have a keyboard player in your band and they're head banging harder than you, shame on you. Shame on you. Do not let that keyboard player head bang harder than you. And don't blame him. No, no, no. Point the finger where it needs to be pointed. You pointed it yourself. And you evaluate your own performance. And you ask yourself, are you holding up compared to that keyboard player? Because if that keyboard player is making you look bad, shame on you. Not shame on him. Shame on you. Do not allow that. Do not allow that keyboard player to outrock you. Seriously. You better step up your game, son. Anyway, <laughs> let's finish this out. We'll get to the review. Nice. Look. <laughs> grooving song, man. Absolutely solid grooving song. Great energy, great drive. Um, I absolutely enjoyed the song. To be honest with you, I really don't have any complaints. Um, this was a fun tune. Absolutely fun tune. Let me get my thoughts together. Um, I don't think this is going to be a long review. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty short. So let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Still Remains with The Worst Is Yet To Come. This was a request from Ian Franks. Yeah. <laughs> I like it! Yeah, I, I dug the tune. I, th there's no, there's absolutely no hiding it. Uh, and besides, I have a terrible poker face anyway. Um, let's just get to the score and uh, we'll go from there. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? The song itself. Great energy, great drive. I love the change up in the feels. Uh, switching between the half time, the straight time, and the double time. I like the fact that they put the straight time, the half time, and the double time in some unusual places. Uh, usually, like in a song like this, we'll hear the chorus be in the double time while you know the verses will be in the straight time and then like the pre-chorus will be half time you know or they'll split the chorus half and half you know straight time half time so for them to put the the chorus into the straight time it, it's a little different than what i'm used to hearing i like it i i, I like it I, I think it worked great i'm i am not complaining about that um it's just a little unusual from what i've heard in the past from other bands so that's cool. I, I got no problem with it. It fit, it worked, so no problems. Uh, the full sound from a six piece band. I love it. I absolutely love everything about that. Uh, very reminiscent in fullness, as far as a full sounding song, very reminiscent of like soil work. You're, you're gonna get a nice, full, rich sound with two guitar players plus a keyboard and then you have bass, drums, and vocals. So I got no issue with that. I, I love seeing bands that are six piece bands. Uh, vocally, here's one of the things that really made the song stand out for me. Um, 
It's a really nice grit and growl. Okay, it's a really nice grit and growl. And I heard it and I was like, okay, no problem. It sounds really good. I really hope there's some clean melodic singing mixed in with this. <laughs> Boy, was there ever not just clean melodic singing, but great clean melodic harmonies. Uh, and the harmonies sounded full and they sounded tight and they sounded accurate and they sounded clean. And I have absolutely no problem with those harmonies at all. They sounded fantastic. Uh, a very, very welcome addition to the song. Without those harmonies, I don't think we'd be up in the 8.4s, I'm being honest with you. I, I, I don't think so. The other thing that really worked well for me in this song was the subdivision work. Uh, we heard a lot of great subdivisions. Uh, between the 16th notes, the 32nd notes, and the sextuplets that we were getting. Uh, it, it, and, and the thing is, it didn't matter what we were doing. It didn't matter if we were doing, you know, eighth notes, quarter notes, um, seriously, 16th, 30 seconds, uh, sextuplets. I mean, it, it didn't matter. It, it really did not matter what they were doing. They sounded clean and they sounded tight. They did not sound dirty at all. They didn't sound muddy at all. Uh, and that comes down, a lot of that, believe it or not, comes down to guitar tone not being too thick, not being too crunchy to the point where it sounds muddy and then you get bleed over with, you know, with too much reverb or you know too much bottom end or anything like that. Now this was nice. This was absolutely nice. I have zero complaints about this song. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun, fun listen. This will be going on a uh, playlist for sure. Driving to Vegas without question. Driving around town without question. I just have to be careful with those two because I could absolutely see myself speeding with a song like this, so I've gotta be careful. The gym, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know about the gym. I love the intensity of the song. I love the energy and the drive of the song, but because there's so many changes in feel, could you imagine running on a treadmill to this song? Uh, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I could do it, but when I'm on the treadmill, I like, I like a song that's just steady, you know, the, no, no crazy time changes, no, no, not, I mean, not time changes, but no, no crazy feel changes. I just like a song that I can pace myself to. So I don't know. I don't know if this would go on the gym. I love the intensity though, I really do. And that's why it's definitely going on my driving playlist. I, but like I said, I gotta be careful. <laughs> so anyway, 8.4, I dig the song. In closing, I'm being very serious when I ask this question of all the fans that are watching this video of Still Remains. The energy that we saw in the music video, does that translate to their live show? Do they have that much energy and that type of animation and stage energy and stage presence and showmanship? Do they have all of that when they play live? If they do, I need to go see these guys live because I wanna hear if they can be that animated, that energetic, have that much stage presence and that much stage energy and that much showmanship and play as clean as they do on their studio albums. If they can, I, I may have found a new favorite band. It, it's possible. I'm the, no promises, no guarantees. And I won't know that for sure until I go and see them live. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely dug what I heard. And I, have, I absolutely enjoyed what I saw in the music video. And I really hope that what they're doing in the music video translates to them playing live. Um, did that go into account with my score? Absolutely not. No, that 8.4 is completely based on the merits of the song itself not the music video, not in any way, shape, or form. Anyway, 8.4, that's a great score. And uh, for anybody who's new to the channel, who are big fans of Still Remains, trust me when I say this, 8.4 is a great score. Just remember, eight is great. If you get an eight point anything on this channel, it's a great score, okay? If you don't believe me, that's okay. Scroll down a little bit in the video description. You'll find my scoring system chart there and it'll, it'll tell you. Just look, 8.0 to 8.9, what does it say? It says great, so if you don't believe me, that's okay. Just refer to that and it'll it'll set you right, I promise. Anyway, 8.4, I feel good with that score and that is where we're gonna stay. So, 8.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job and I'm so glad I could do it. 
If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.